welcome to ION Business. This evening, we'd like to discuss with you the extended furlough and the grant and the law side of what it holds. Tonight, I have two guests who will try and explain some of the things that you could um, be beneficial. Um, I have on my right, I have Ajit Shah, a chartered accountant. On further right, I have Muhammad Salim, um, a solicitor. Very good evening, gentlemen. I hope you've had a good journey here. Um, how have you been keeping uh, with this uh, lockdown? Thank you, uh, Amir Bhai. Uh, viewers, good evening to all of you. Uh, we all hope that you are doing well. Uh, thank you, INTV, for uh, getting us here today for uh, discussing uh, very crucial issues about Farlo and Grant and other legal aspects. Yeah, we've been doing good. Thank good. Uh, Salim Bhai, um, welcome to the program. Uh, Ajit Shah, welcome to the program. Thank Today you. I would want clarification for our viewers. I, you have obviously are expert in two different fields. What we've been talking about in a couple of the program is what's going on with the furlough. Uh, tonight's obviously is the extended furlough and the grant and the legal aspects on what our viewers can face, the business in the community can face. So we just needed um, some clarification, some questions that we have from our viewers who have emailed certain questions. So please do uh, give your feedback as where you think is appropriate. Um, the, 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 the extended furlough is, is, obviously it's beneficial for uh, the employees. Um, with the 80% that went back up to its original figure. Um, with employers, what are they benefiting in terms of a businessman or woman who has a, has a thingy? Uh, I just might, in terms of that, I mean, obviously you have a lot of clients who are on your books who you have uh, advised in terms of accountancy and the finance side of it. The, the, the employees are in a certain way happy. How about the employers? How about the businessmen and women who are struggling at this uh, COVID situation. Thank you, Kanvoy. Uh, uh, viewers, after we have seen program, we have seen this program on the show, and we have seen this program on the Last week, on 5th November, our, our Chancellor, uh, Rishi Sunak, has uh, declared few benefits to all the businesses. The main aim and objective for these all majors to safeguard our all business, all self-employed people, also to save families. After a journey, a farless kinta, kinto, a economic on a din to a bachi record. Lot of families got their last hope as their farless scheme. Because if there is no farlo, there is no employment, and a lot of families could be struggling to their extreme. So Rishi Sunak has taken the decision to extend this farlo scheme for five more months. So it's now November, December, January, February, and March. So which is a great relief for employers as well, because employer doesn't have any business, no money is coming in. And on that point, if they can't pay their employees, that's the only option they have to redundant. Uh, would you say it's celebrated in terms of going back to the 80%, it is more welcomed in terms of going back, going to the 70% and the 60%. So, you know, having yeah, that- That's a great going point, back. because on last month, like when it started 80%, then it uh, went back to 70%, then last month, like last October, was 60%. But what government has said, it will go back to 80% now. So 80% for these coming five months, which is a great relief. Now, another good thing, that it could be flexible. Like, if you work 20 hours, but if you don't work 20 hours, so you can have far low, 80%, of your non-paid, I mean, non-working hours. But when Farlo came at the beginning, then you couldn't actually go to your, um, like a workplace for even an hour. For, for, for that 20% to, now you can. So in nutshell, Econ Farlo is very flexible. You can do the work that you have done, and you can do the work that you have done, and you can do up to 80%. So which is kind of a very good news. I mean, you can say that this is a mixture of uh, job retention scheme and the previous Farlo scheme. I mean, they put uh, a new scheme called job retention scheme when they said 60% and 70% that well, you can you work, work something and you get and, paid. And you get, you get paid uh, up to one third. That was uh, the job retention scheme, I think? 
how it started, I mean, at the beginning, when there was uh, COVID-19 just back in March and April, they said 80%, whatever your salary, up to 2,500 pounds, you can claim. Like, mm. employer will claim on behalf of employees. But then, towards the end, like last two months, it came back to 70%, then 60%, and it become flexible like, as well. Yeah. But now they're saying you can get 80%, flexible, whatever hours you're not working, government will support you up to 80%. All right. So it's a big relief. It, 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 it is. I think this is more welcome in terms of the employees having the 80% and can work the hours that are uh, provided in terms of that 20% of the, which is, which back to the 100% of salaries. Uh, I mean, if they wish, if the employer can provide them with the hours. It's That's true. So, actor Dinesh Monirak Thawai Khane, the beginning of the day, the government is employer NI, the employer pension is the beginning of but that this time employer have to pay the employer NI and pension contribution. So that is something you might be arguing that, so why government is not paying that? Obviously, government is doing as much as they can, but they also want employer to support them to some extent. employer employer NI Pension contribution to cook into another pay court. Otherwise, up nor employee Jotuduk Shomoy Kats Kortchena, I mean, non working hours, sir, 80% will be paid by government starting from November up to end of March. And we can another point you can remember whether your business is open or closed, both can claim this Farlow scheme. Even if your shop is running, but in some limited way, you can still claim Farlow. But if your restaurant is closed, you can also still claim the fargo. So this is something good about it. This is fantastic news for the thing. But going back, um, Salim Bhai uh, and, and, and um, Ajit Shah, in terms of the employer, where in March, April, the employer or the rent rate payer were given an amount of grant which non pay non-returnable, non-payable, is it, is the, 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 the government has announced if you're a certain, uh, certain rate payer, a certain amount, you get one and a half thousand pounds every two weeks or three thousand pounds every, is that enough for a reasonable small size business? Is that, can they, obviously they'll have their outgoing in terms of rent, the rate Rates. is obviously uh, capped till uh, March, April. But is it enough for the employer? It's arguable, actually. I think that it depends on the on the uh, on the business's uh, circumstances. Different business had different uh, uh, you know experience during this COVID-19. Let's say, our to beshir bhag, our community that bira tongsho hote restaurant businesses shete jori to. They have really been suffered. Only takeaway uh, service was open. Uh, eating service to Chilona, Jacane eating a kin to direct a good profit margin core, even at a borrow restaurant, she needs a shed to the kitchen tanane. She put a restaurant, a sitting the premises is big, too premises. big for just for that, but that's not sustainable. Is the, the premises that's closed only this money take away the air and there are the pound for ya, but another pound for ya that the back is the outgoing. I say it's not as I said that it depends on the particular business. Someone had like uh, a convincing sh convenience shop. Okay, or different sort of office or something like that. They did not have like a, a part of, part service was open, part was closed. It wasn't that. I mean, they could open the whole business or they could not open the business at all. But for the restaurant, they had to open, but only for takeaway service. So they had to miss the whole income from eating service. So maybe this grant is not sufficient for many so of like them. The, 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 in terms of 80% of a restaurant or 70% of restaurant income is lost in that sense. That's, that's, uh, sh sh that's correct. Yeah. I'm, I mean, Ajit, I'm sure you have a lot of clients in, in the restaurant industry uh, who are saying or who you are advising in terms of figures and accountancy on, on that and how, how difficult they are facing. Uh, rightly, Khanbhai, I mean, you rightly say, I'm actually a protect the to deal with the situation. So, especially in our community, there are a restaurant business, takeaway. Obviously, they are struggling. But what they are trying to do, they're trying to at least survive by doing the takeaways, as you mentioned, rightly mentioned. So, uh, actually, this is a pandemic. Like, everybody is suffering on their every single moment. 
So actually, this is the time to survive. I this mean, is survival. Is the survival. This is the hardcore survival. Like, people say, this year, if you survive, this is your huge profit. Because you can't no. think about any other profit but, but, but just to survive. But obviously, uh, small businesses are not that bad condition. But when you have 100, 150 employees on your board, like you've got a big premises, you've got a pub, you've got a big uh, restaurant, then you are really suffering a lot. Because government's 10,000 pound grant or 25,000 pound grant, it can dry in one or two months by paying the rent. Salim Bhai and Shabai, going back uh, I mean, in terms of if you have 51,000 pound in terms of rate zeta, then you're not, you're not uh, in, the, in the grant section. So anything no. below the 51,000, then you can get the, you will get, in terms of the past of what you are able to get the grant. But the new grants that are 51,000 on Nisra and the Tinas are every two weeks. It's actually every, every month they are saying, proposing. Is, is yeah. Every yeah, I think what they're proposing that to cover, if you are forced to shut down, if you are forced to close down for a month, it's kind of, kind of 3,000 pound by the local government. But obviously, the detailed guideline will be available on their site soon. Soon, Not yes. Oh. Salim Bhai, yes. In, in, you are an expert in this field. So question to you in terms of the furlough, um, the, the, the wrong claiming of the furlough, oh. which I need. So our question is, employee is a furlough scheme the employer is claim for It is the employer is I mean, what consequences can the employer face uh, if you could tell us a little bit in that sense, because you are an expert in that field, right? Thank you. Uh, obviously, we have seen such uh, such things uh, since the Farley scheme has been started. We have seen, we have heard many stories like this. Many many people have contacted us. Kisu kisu employer, I mean, it would be very wrong to say that uh, all of them did. Very few or some of them did that. That they claimed the Farlo money, Farlo payment from the government. However, the employee uh, employee was actually working in that place, but they are saying to the HMRC and the government that this employee is not working because of pandemic, and uh, I'm claiming 80% money. I have a, I, I pay for him. Usually, I pay for him. So, what it is obviously wrong. It is by law. It is unlawful. That's that's right. And. Uh, as soon as the employee knows about it, what he or she should, she, she should do, she should give a phone call to HMRC in first place, He's stating the fact that um, I have been working, and, uh, b but my money, uh, b b my, the employer has claimed uh, on behalf of me. However, uh, I have been working, so the money, uh, the employer should pay me the money, not the, not government. the government. I mean, under my not name, the, the money has been claimed. So, Irukum Kore Tara Jokon contact Kore, Tokon obviously employer camera de Kati Farlo is Kimerate and Yaro question Kore, Aro information chai, Kunukunu event at a Bontokara or Nojirace. Our Akhon Jeta Hotse, Jeta Mother Accountant by Bolen, J. J. Parte Tara Kach Kurbe, Shetter to Payment Pabe, J. Part Chekach Kurbena, let's say forty hours she work for the weekly, twenty hours Akhon Kach Kore, Baki twenty hours her claim Kurbe. So again, Jodi uh, full time catch kore, kintu claim kore jeshe catch korte na. Again, it will be an unlawful thing. The employer employee should uh, contact to HMRC in first place. That's the that's the that's the option for the employee. There are number for, for, uh, he can get from Google, and that, that that's the action they can take. And the employer uh, consequences hote jeshe. Etar juno obviously HMRC the she blacklisted hote pare. In future etar e dhoroner claim je she gula je court be grant claim whatever e gula be pare ta ke oneki scrutinize kora hote pare. So gentlemen, um, we have a few callers online. Let's take a couple of calls. Very good evening, caller. Assalamu alaikum. Good evening, caller. Assalamu alaikum. Let's go to the next one. Good evening, Kola. Assalamu alaikum. Good evening, Kola. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Hello, Bhaiya. Yes, go. Amar, mani ekta mall hai. Amar chote ekta shop hai. Ota rate nine. Hello, ami ki ekta jo na grant pabo. 
Another question to Arapata Haruka, please. Can you ask the question again? Mm -hmm. I think, uh, I mean, the question to I mean, mm -hmm. uh, Thank you very much for your call. Uh, we'll get our guest to explain and answer a on your question. So, um, I just wait if we if we start off um, what the uh, the okay. caller was saying in terms of the he's got a unit a shop in in a mall. Uh, thank you, caller. Apni uh, the program dekchen. After question ta chile erakum je ekta shopping mall apna chota ekta unit atse, but you are not registered with uh, for business rate purpose with the council. Now jokon ei granted bapar ta ashlo, ekhane ekta mool criteria chilo je you have to be registered with uh, council uh, for business rate purpose. Tarai kintu ashle she ten thousand pound kintu twenty five thousand pound. Grant a path chilo. Plus, jara street shopper chilo, uh, I mean, jara street shop chilo, kimba jara corporate building a chota chota unit ne baranit chilo, tadir jono kin the specific provision chilo based on council to council. Tamaka simono hai je councilor a new granted provision to akono uh, completely clear na. Apni jodi ar ek shopta wait koren, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm quite sure je councilor website a e bisho e aro detail. More clarification. So I want to uh, just keep your eyes on your council website, and uh, probably within a week time we'll be in a better situation to answer your question. So I mean, just the our society, that the community, that when Whitechapel Street Market, a market a rent ni the hoy councilor kas thek. Councilor ek jon ke ekta licensee. Licensee. So, shattered against a poroburti, the prothumeta chilona, prothumeta peta controversial who is a jetara to business rate pay corona. However, their business has been affected. So, and their business is listed with the local authorities. Yes. So, other ke other ke poroburti the grant dia hoy. So far, I know three three thousand five hundred something like that, depending on the council. What what the accountant uh, has just said, uh, Ajit has just said. So, unake jeta korte hobe councilor website ek khobar rakte hobe. Even obviously, unhi jay mall a business. Unhi jodi ashe pashe ek to khoch khobar rakhen, he will know it very soon. Salim bhai, I've we've had a lot of inquiries in terms of um, uh, big complex owners or, 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 or sub leases mm. that are, for example had a property and they the, the, the original leaseholders got the rate registered under themselves yeah how ethical or how legal is it for that person to claim that grant from the council obviously he how is it terms of in terms of legal legal aspect of it obviously legally uh Business rate pay kurche hoche jini leaseholder, original leaseholder. Mm -hmm. He or she can claim according to the law which has been introduced, Coronavirus Act 2020. Uh, however, as you said, that how ethical is it? If you ask me about the ethical issue, then as he is not doing the business uh, himself in the actual premises, and uh, he should provide this money to the to the sub person who is the who is the sub lease there. So, however, I don't think in many occasions it happened that the uh, actual leaseholder leaseholder claimed the money and gave the money to the sub lease. That's, that's, we, that's we, what is happening. That's we've very had sad. a lot of sort of things on the on the sub lease where the original leaseholders subleased it to someone else and claimed the grant under under that lease. Uh, but do they have any 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 legal standing the sub lease sub leases? Do they have any legal standing in terms of that? It depends on the contract, the mm -hmm. sublease, which was uh, agreed between the parties. Uh, obviously, it, it wasn't designed on the uh, on the basis of the pandemic situation. It was we, we wasn't it expecting was made, to be. Yes, it was when maybe it was made like two, three years before. That time, no one knew about coronavirus. They did not think that it may happen that my uh, registration with uh, with the council as a business rate payer will give me a grant. So that time, maybe they did not bother. Even the sub lease may thought that, uh, well, the landlord is saying that the, uh, the payment I would be making to him, that will be including the business rate. So I, w I will be in, 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 the, in, the, in the beneficiary side. So it is in, in, in my favor, this lease. However, as I said, that the, the claim was made through online system. Mm -hmm. Okay. The, in, in, in the online, you had to have the, uh, had, 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 the, the, the reference number, business rate the reference business number, rate in reference order number. to claim the grant. 
So the system only knew that number. Once you get the number, you would get the money within the next two or three days. That's what it happened. Uh, but it is sad. So sub lease what he or she should do, uh, that person should contact to the leaseholder. They look, I am doing the business, and I have been suffering. Salim Bhai, can I interrupt you? We've got a, call, a few callers. Can I take one call? Yes. Good evening, caller. Hello, Asalaamu Alaikum. Asalaamu Alaikum. Very good evening. What's your name and what's your question, please? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your question. He's talking about self-employment grant. Yeah. So, uh, thank, our, Kola, thank you for your question. The question was self-employed. Yeah. Um, Ajitbhai, if you can clarify sure. uh, on, on the question that he asked. Thank you, caller. After uh, question to Chile, Erokum, Je Apni Jokon Prothumbar self-employed scheme under a grant ashe, Tokon Apni eligible Chilena, Karan after rental property income to Chilo Beshi, then your cabin income. So what government said, je jekhane apna income beshi, shaitar upor base kore apna ke benefit ta daya hoche. So sheshomoy apna cabin income ta chilo, apna rental profit theke kom. She jonno apni benefit ta pan nei. Kintu porer bochor jokhon apni tax return korechen, apnar situation change hoyeche, apnar cabin income ta bere geche, kintu rental income ta kome geche. Ta apnar question ta chilo, apni ke ekhon eligible hoben kina. Tobe ashole unfortunately, government has clearly mentioned that to be eligible to get this third and fourth grant, you must have been eligible for first two grant. That means that the first two grants are not eligible for the first two grants, then very unfortunately, you are not eligible for the first two grants. So it's very pathetic. I mean, I'm not sure that people's situation can change. Situation can change. But the um, thing is, uh, not everything is going to everybody's favor. So, uh, caller, after college, you know, but so far information we have, after you the prothom data grant eligible na hoye thakin, each hamne data grant you kintu apni eligible hoven na. Thank you. I am bhule jao rakhe. Sorry. I'm Go ahead. Uh, job retention scheme er ekta no tum point I am to bolte chhatsi apna dekhe. Apna ra taaki ekhon a no tum char maashir jono farlo korte parven. Like you can only farlo those employees for this new extension who are in your payroll up to 30th October 2020. I, I, I had a question in terms of right. that from one of our viewers. Sure. Um, obviously, both of you gentlemen can uh, elaborate. So, new employee join you, sir. What you were saying is up to when can that person or the employer claim the furlough is 30th of October. So, they have to be on the payroll on the 30th of October. In, I just by if the real time was not claimed or late, another 10 days, but it was claimed for the previous month, are they still eligible? Yeah, I mean, you have to be very careful. So the law said, J employed the 30th of October, like end of October, payroll of Chilean. Mm. And you have done RTI, real time information has been submitted. They are all eligible. Tadir ke apni aage kochono farlo koren ni taro eligible hobe. So it's a very a new point. Je kau ke apni October re ek tari ke employment dekhiye chen tar jono ki to farlo korte barche November theki. So whoever started within 30th October, even they are a new employee, you can still farlo them for this coming five months. So. Uh, However, they mentioned on the guideline that RTA has to be submitted. However, on 10th of November, we will have the full guideline. But in brief, Kono employee the 30th of October in the system, But if I, if I add one question here, sure. that uh, uh, usually we have uh, up to, I think, 18th or 19th of the following Actually, month, fifth, let's fifth, uh, to, to submit the RTI. So, I'm a, uh, I'm a RTI, 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 December, 
December past the week, RTI submit Korea, as you said. Okay, November past the week. Uh, for October. Uh, for yeah. October, November past the week, submit Jetta Koreci, Jade Juno Koreci, Tadeta future AMI RT, uh, Farlo claim Kotabarbo. Judi Chai, Judi Taraf, who is Kim Elizabeth Hoy. Upon rightly said, uh, Selim by a connect to technical issues, I mean, Bolenici. Actually, RTI Taki, RTI Holo, real time information. And what RTI expect you to do on the day of the payment or before. So, if you have October salary in November, then you have to pay payment date on the 5th of November. Mm -hmm. So, by law, you can make a RTI on 5th November for October pay slips. However, on the guideline, they say RTI has to be done by 30th October. But I'm quite sure on 10th of November, when they publish the new law, they will accept that fifth because million of employees, yeah. million of employers submit RTA on fifth on of the following fifth. month. So we can probably guess from that point of view that up to fifth of November RTA will be accepted. Thank you. But it will be all clarified on 10th of November. I cannot guarantee. Thank you very much for clarifying uh, this, uh, gentlemen. Uh, let's take a caller. Very good evening and assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the program. Assalamu alaikum, welcome to the program. What is your name and what is your question, please? Uh, I mean, I'm going to talk to you. Yes, yes. Now, I'm going to talk to you about the example of the WhatsApp. Yes, yes. So, I'm going to talk to you about the SSD. I'm going to talk to you about the SSD. I'm going to talk to you about the SSD. I'm going to talk to you about the SSD. I'm going to talk to you about the SSD. I'm going to talk to you about the SSD. 720 <laughs> After Tower Hamlet, so sorry, the amount of Kitab I so I can clarify with my uh, panel. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Maya Virginia, for your fantastic call. Um, we'll go to our panel. Um, I think one thing. Mohammed uh, Salim Bhai. Uh, this money was provided by the uh, central government to the local government. Local, local government to distribute. Local government was only the distributor mm -hmm. of the funds. So need to see that. Uh, um, what did they do? I mean, Taraki uh, Tadir fund properly distribute Kolo, Naki fund Rekidilo. So if uh, the business people they are not happy, they can go to the, they can make complaint. That's uh, number one. Selim bhai, uh, central government give a similar amount to each council. Now, Monikoranje, council will depend on basically how they can distribute. It takes into council director discretion power of Chile. And there could be another yes. case that uh, different council got different sort of street market or different number of, of, digital number digital of digital. traders there. Yeah. Let's say in Tower Hamlets, you got uh, uh, Whitechapel Street, Whitechapel Road, you got Watney Market, you got, Bolo, you got Sunday yeah. Market, you got uh, Roman Road Market. Those so are, there's a proportion that they might have to work towards yeah. at the amount, the council, local council, Tower Hamlet council, that the amount I said, I'm going to distribute amongst certain amount of traders and this is the figure that fall in but obviously the caller and the traders they can get together they can question it yeah. they can lobby yeah. it with the with the uh, MP uh, mayor and everything yeah. else F from my point of view it's not fair mm -hmm. because if you do the same trade in a different council you are getting 3500 and if you're doing it in uh, Whitechapel you are getting very less so uh, b b b the central government Chilo is not too late what they can do that uh, they can find out that Kun Council a key poriman street market as a trader. According to that. According to that, they could uh, give the grant. 
that will be a fair distribution from my point of view. So these people can be organized and they put a petition or they can contact their um, uh, MPs. So the MP can raise the voice in the parliament and uh, the government can uh, think about it. That's Fabulous. Thank you very much for that uh, clarification. Uh, we have a few more callers. Can we just take a couple of calls? Very good evening, caller. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the program. Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Namta uh, and what is your question, please? So question to the panel, thank you very much Afnar uh, and I'll ask our panel to clarify on this, thank you. I leave it with you. Yeah, I mean, uh, thank you Karl. Actually, uh, what they're saying, any business forced to stop or forced to close, they can give you monthly basis up to three thousand pound, but I we already discussed earlier on the program that still it's not hundred uh, percent actually detailed over the website. So we have to keep our eyes on the local uh, government website, and hopefully in a week time we'll have more detail on it. But the figure they mentioned is three thousand pound per month. Three thousand pound. But is this I only for those business which are not running at this moment? Let's say barber. So by law, the barber cannot open their shop, beautician, they mm -hmm. cannot open their shop. But if we talk about a lating agent, lating agents are open. If you so talk what about uh, the solicitors, they're open, they cannot clean. Gentlemen, what happens if the restaurant is serving takeaway, but their yes. restaurant size is closed? How does that come in terms of the law and in terms of the grant? That's what I was saying, the detail will be coming soon. Thank but you. But my understanding is saying, if you're doing business by opening takeaway, you are not eligible. Because they say, by law, if you're forced to close. Because on that case, you're not close. Thank okay. you. Uh, let's take another call. Assalamu alaikum, caller. Hello, assalamu alaikum. Uh, wa alaikum salam. What's your name and what's your question, please? Well, yeah, I'm Rashid Gultasi. I'm an Odisha number of accountants. Kunu or Shivan. After Kunu question as any Bortomane, I'm the control room uh, number Diba of Nares or control room taking number Tanireba. But do you. Focus, please. Thank you very much. So, I've not called disconnect for you. I've called the control room. Thank you very much for your call. Thank you very much for your call. Going back, everybody, the whole nation is facing whether you are employed, whether you're non employed, whether you're in business, we are all facing hard times. I mean, in Obviously, our message is to stay safe, stay strong, wave the sail together. Um, but obviously, the, the, the business are hit hard, gentlemen. We are all facing our difficulties. We are all facing difficulties in terms of moving around, in terms of doing business, in terms of our gathering. We, I'm not, I'm not a article or a so I say up in north or the wedding, wedding holes and wedding and holding parties at home. Or, I mean, in terms of that, how is it pleased? Which in the, 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 in the business. Obviously, the council and the police has a lot of work on their thing. Uh, should we, should we be following up about our neighbors or about our co-business people or how do we do it? What do you suggest, Ajit Bhai and uh, Shalim Bhai? Yeah. Uh, obviously, uh, our duty should be in accordance with the government's guidelines. We need to follow the guidelines. And uh, if we see that someone is breaching these, it is our duty to let the police know, let the, let the, uh, you know, the government know or the authority know that it is happening here. Obviously, uh, I'm a neighbor today, the Runel Kisukore, so that will be like uh, harmful for the, for the area where I live. The, they did not follow the all the habitants of the local area. All the habitants. That's, that's the thing uh, we should follow. And obviously, uh, this is the second wave. Uh, according to the scientist or, or the scientific advice, that it, it could be even stronger than the first wave if we do not take proper action now. So that is why the government was forced to uh, declare second, uh, uh, second lockdown. And obviously, this lockdown is uh, many people have been arguing because because the school is open, uh, universities, colleges are open, and uh, it seems because uh, the school and the college and universities are open, the 
the guardian of the of the children for the schooling especially they need to go to drop the child and they need to uh, we go again to collect the child so then the mixing is there so it is uh, controversial in some it, it, it is in terms of that. I mean, obviously, we are still moving on. We're still dropping our children off to school, um, obviously. And, and obviously, are our children safe? Yes, the school and the government is saying safe. But there's still a little bit of scariness in our own hearts as parents because we're sending our children to school with, with all and this also, going on. And also in the school, the only, not, they are not the, the only children are not there. The teachers are also there. Of course. The teachers are aged people. I mean, some teachers can be 60, in their 60s or 70s. I mean, they could be even vulnerable in this scenario. If they go and mix with the various people, the children are going, um, going to, when, when the school is open, for a school you need to get uh, the child's food, Sometimes you go to your super supermarket to buy the food. So many things are actually involved All connected, there. all domino, all one sort of one after another. So, uh, Salim, uh, can I just pause you there? Let's take a couple of questions. Assalamu alaikum, Kola. Very good evening and welcome to the program. Yes, Hello. Assalamu alaikum. What's your name and what is your question, please? Uh, my name is uh, Abdul. I'm Thank you. Thank you very much. I mean, I'm going to say that I'm going to say Thank you very much I for your fantastic call. We'll, we'll get, get our panel to discuss that. And I think I we think have already talked yeah, about that. I, I think Ojidda has uh, cleared it twice mm. at least. The similar way to power job in Adarshok, it's 10,000 pesos low. On the hospitality sector, up to 25,000 pesos low. But this time, it is not like this. What they say is that if you are forced to close, close your business because of uh, the law they have introduced. Lockdown is not just the business bond to like uh, 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 our, our accountant said that barbers, beauticians, or there are some other like cloth shops. bond uh, bound to be closed because because of the lockdown, then you will get up to 3,000 per, ma per month. That's right? You're right. Yes. But uh, as we also said uh, earlier, that total full guideline they will publish very soon, hopefully by 10th of November. Then we can say even, um, I mean, clear, are uh, clear for them to be able to do it. exactly similar way, to another 10,000 will not be given. Okay. So you. before going, we went back onto the question of the caller. We were talking about student, student going back to school. Um, uh, Salim Bay, the teachers' union, one of the biggest teachers' union, yeah, which actually demanded or you know uh, uh, really beat it up sort of um, the school to be closed within this this lockdown. But actually. Who should we really listen to? Do we listen to the teachers? Do we listen to the Obviously, it's, it's the law. We listen to the government. But should that have been taken in consideration as parents yourselves you know, and, and our viewers who are really Actually, uh, thank very you. confusing in terms of yeah, that? This is a uh, whole scenario is confusing, obviously. Actually, government is not going to be able So you have to keep your own security, own safety. So, Amrajita Shabaika suggests that obviously you follow government guidelines, keep the social distancing, wear the mask, keep the safe distance, and uh, try your best to be safe. I mean, we cannot actually fight against the law. We, ha we are abide by the law. Of course, of so, course. Uh, our request to everyone just uh, try not to be uh, parting, you know, for any reason. We understand that everybody is suffering uh, mentally, and it is important that we socialize but for a few months please leave that alone and follow the covid guideline i mean if you permit me mm -hmm. please go ahead minutes uh, through you through ion tv i want to speak about a few other uh, schemes mm -hmm. go ahead so, please so that is information for our viewers, so at our home viewers around uh, the world uh, we understand that uh, you are watching us obviously it's uh, quite night now Rishi Sunak got a shot to our kids benefit declare code set on the actor hello self-employed they support the chilo so you will get third and fourth grant which we discussed which is 80% up to seven and a half thousand each quarter 
তাহলে নভেম্বর ডিসেম্বর জানুয়ারির জন্য আপনি আরও পেতে পারেন সেভেন পাউন্ড অ্যান্ড দেন ফেব্রুয়ারি মার্চ অ্যান্ড এপ্রিল ইউ ক্যান হ্যাভ ইউর লাস্ট পেমেন্ট আপ টু পাউন্ড অবভিয়াসলি এটা হবে আপনার এইটি পার্সেন্ট অফ ইউর অ্যাভারেজ ডিক্লেয়ার্ড প্রফিট যেটা এইটিন নাইনটিন ট্যাক্স ইয়ার ওয়াইজ ছিল এটা একটা ব্যাপার সেকেন্ডটা হল যে যারা বাউন্স ব্যাক লোন নিয়েছেন ইউ নো ইফ ইউর টার্ন ওভার ইস টু টু হান্ড্রেড থাউজেন্ড আপনার সেলস আপনার ইনকাম যদি দুশো হাজার পাউন্ড হয় কোম্পানিতে তাহলে কিন্তু আপনি পঞ্চাশ হাজার পাউন্ড বাউন্স ব্যাক লোন নিতে পারতেন অনেকে যেটা করেছে দে ডিড ইন টেক দ্য হোল ফিফটি থাউজেন্ড দে প্রবলি টুক থার্টি থাউজেন্ড আপনার এরকম যদি সিচুয়েশন হয় ইউ ক্যান স্টিল টপ আপ ইউর বাউন্স ব্যাক লোন আপ টু থার্টি ফার্স্ট জানুয়ারি ইউ ক্যান স্টিল অ্যাপ্লাই ফর বাউন্স ব্যাক লোন আপ টু থার্টি ফার্স্ট জানুয়ারি টু সেলফ এমপ্লয়েড এবং লিমিটেড কোম্পানি বোথ ক্যান অ্যাপ্লাই ফর বাউন্স ব্যাক লোন বিকজ ইউ নো ক্যাশ ফ্লো ইজ দ্য লাইফ লাইন অফ এনি বিজনেস আপনার এখনও যারা এই বাউন্স ব্যাক লোনের জন্য অ্যাপ্লাই করেন নাই প্লিজ আমার মনে হয় যে এটা নেওয়াটা অনেকটাই ওয়াইজ হবে কেননা ফর টেন ইয়ার্স ইস টু অ্যান্ড হাফ পার্সেন্ট ইন্টারেস্ট রেট অ্যান্ড ইস অ্যামেজিং ফার্স্ট ওয়ান ইয়ার ইটস অ্যাভেলেবল আনটিল এন্ড অফ জানুয়ারি এন্ড অফ জানুয়ারি এন্ড অফ জানুয়ারি টোয়েন্টি টোয়েন্টি সো ইস ইফ ইউ হ্যাভ এন টেকিন ইট প্লিজ গো ফর ইট if you need it obviously we are not forcing you but this is a tremendous it's still available yeah still available last thing apnara janen je job retention bonus bole ekta kotha chilo je apni kauke farlo korechen take ekhono job e rekhechen until january so government decided before that they will give you 1000 pound for each employees that has been put on hold so government boleche je amra ekhono eta niye chinta korchi na let us finish the follow scheme and then we'll decide when we'll allow you that 1000 pound as job retention bonus so, so that these, is that is on a pause on, on at the hold. moment yes on hold and in january they will review this follow scheme again we will not be surprised if they cut back to 70% again from february or 60% or even they tell you come on uh, we need your more contribution but up to now november and december completely correct 80% of your fantastic average. thank you uh, ajit bhai thank you very much for your uh, fantastic uh, advice on this one uh, we're coming to the end of the program gentlemen thank you very much for coming in i mean we would love to have you again on the program but thank you mohammed salim uh, ajit shah for uh, the contribution that you have made tonight uh, viewers i hope you have have uh, got some information from our panel this evening if you do have any questions please do email us on ion uh, business and you've got the number on the screen below uh, also um, our facebook page you can uh, um, message us but what at the moment for our our community the nation in whole what we need to do is support each other support family su support the circle and be strong stay spaced out as much as you can sanitize your hand wear the mask where you necessarily need to stay safe look after each other and until next time we'll see you then very good evening